Now I use the Nikon Z6 II and the Nikon 200-500 f5.6 for my bird life photography. But am I going crazy or are you seeing these photos distorted like I am? Now I've been using the Z6 II and the Nikon 200-500 for quite a few months now and I haven't had a problem with it. But most of this time I've been content at shooting at 5.5 frames per second. But lately I've been deciding that I want to get more out of my camera. I want to learn how to master the 14 frames per second so I can take more shots because I was very happy with the D500 at 10 frames per second. I know there's flaws at 14 frames per second. You get sort of a blackout. So I'm willing to put up with that. A couple of weeks ago I went to Black Duck Lagoon and I did a YouTube tutorial on the different metering modes that you can use on the Z6 II for bird photography. And as I was looking through these photos I noticed something very peculiar. That sometimes at 14 frames per second I was getting like compression in the photos. Here's the first example. This kingfisher was just in a tree and these were shot at 14 frames per second handheld. I've tried going back through my photos and looking at the Nikon D500 photos when I was using the 200-500 and it was never there. It's only happened recently but it doesn't happen all the time and this is a problem. Just like I stated in a video for the metering modes that when you're using 14 frames a second sometimes the camera loses focus and it takes a while to bring it focus back. I do have another lens that I could test on here but it's only a 24 to 85 and it would be no use comparing that lens because it is very different to the 200 to 500 because the 200 to 500 is tripod aware. It means whether my lens is on the tripod or I'm hand holding the VR works exactly the same. I was really scratching my head. I look back through quite a lot of these photos that I'd taken that day. There's quite a few sets that's happened and I've got three here to show you taken at 14 frames per second. Now this Kingfisher here, the photos are just everywhere. Now this set is also handheld and it's a little female fairy wren and the distortion is there as well. Now this set of a little sacred kingfisher up in the tree was taken the same day as the others but these I took about 30 photos and there was no distortion on them even though I'm only showing you seven frames. So this really was scratching my head because I'm saying okay it happens sometimes, it doesn't happen other times. Most of the photos that I had were 14 frames per second because all the photos that I'd taken at 5.5 frames per second for that YouTube tutorial, none of them had errors. So I said, okay, well, I just want to eliminate to see whether or not at 5.5 frames per second, I'm getting the same issues. So I asked Trevor the Heron here to help me out and I took some photos at 5.5 frames per second. What surprised me was I had distortion as well. Not as much, very slight distortion, but still there. Take a look at these photos of Trevor the Heron. So you can see, even at 5.5 frames a second, I'm getting distortion, but not as big. Now, before I go on, if this is happening to you, please, Leave it in a comment. Tell me. Yes, I've had this happen as well. Just so I know that I'm not the only one that's happening. Now, these were all handheld. You'll see that it happens on the tripod as well. Now, this set of Willy Wagtail photos was taken the day that I did the metering mode tutorial. You saw with the Willy Wagtail, the photos were just going up and down. It was just like you were compressing the photo, but it's still a six by four. The others of the Wren and Kingfisher, you saw they were just moving sideways and sometimes a bit up and down. These kind of crested Chicana photos, it does the same thing. Goes sideways and a bit goes up and down. Check them out. Now 
these photos of the sacred kingfisher here were taken at Tichy Tambra about two weeks ago. But because I'd focused on the nest, I'd shut VR off, I'd shut autofocus off on the lens. The 200-500 was used as a manual focus lens. The focus was set, everything was shut off. I was using a manual trigger so there was no movement in the camera. All these photos you can see here are perfect. There is no movement at all. Is it my lens that's a problem? I don't know. Is it the combination of this lens with my Z6 II? I'm not sure. The only way I could be 100% sure, and I wish I could have done this before the video, but I really want to get this video out to get feedback from people watching this video about the issues that I'm having. I'm calling it crazy VR issues. In about a week's time, I'm going out with a friend of mine who's also got a Nikon 200 to 500. And I was telling him about my crazy VR issues that I'm having because I really don't know if it's a lens, if it's my camera. And he said, well, when we go out, we can swap lenses, put my lens on, run it through and see if you're getting the crazy VR issues as well. Because if you're getting it, then it's not the lens, it's the camera. So that's the only way I'm going to know. But I really want to do this video now so that if you're having an issue like me with this crazy VR, let me know. Then I could say, it's not my lens, it's my Z6 II. But the problem is it's intermittent. It doesn't happen all the time. I could take a hundred photos and it, it'll only happen in about five or six. And the only way that you can see this problem, if you want to test it out for yourself, is you've got to take at least 30 or 40 at 14 frames per second. So it means you've got to run it for at least four or five seconds at 14 frames per second and see if then when you're looking through your photos, you're getting this sort of distortion thing. You don't have to shoot in RAW to take up a lot of space. You can just shoot in JPEG because I found whether I shoot in JPEG or in RAW, it's doing it. So thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, really helps me out. If this is happening to you, leave it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Bye for now.